Nine hairdressers, two winners, one chance in a lifetime. Which two are going to stand out to win Inspirational Youth USA? Previously on TG Inspirational Youth. Today is about presentation. It was amazing where we began and then where we ended. Everyone improved the second time around. So this year I was fortunate enough to, to be with the Inspirational Youth right throughout their whole journey and resulted in, in a fantastic photo shoot here at Bedhead Studios in London. I joined TG 10 years ago and in that time I've been very fortunate to work alongside Anthony. Anthony's taught me everything there is to know about image, model casting, and total concept for a shoot. And hopefully the students this year can benefit from my knowledge and experience. Good morning everybody, welcome to your casting day. The first thing that I need to make clear to you all, I'm kind of a cross between a nurse and a lawyer. And what that means is that my commodity is actually a human being. And as you go through life, you'll discover that there's absolutely nothing more special than a human being. So that means that my commodity needs looking after. So Annette is our casting director and an absolute key figure in, in putting all these shoots together. She organises the casting, she negotiates the model rights, and she's here on the day to help guide everyone along as well. Her wealth of knowledge and experience is second to none in this field. Your casting and your selection of your model can and does make or break shoots and makes or breaks the day. So in the next hour, when we have the girls arriving, there's quite a lot for you to try to take in in a very short period of time. All the models will be presented to you on an individual basis. Any girls that you're interested in, they will present you with a model card. That is your moment to talk to them, to communicate with her and to touch the hair. You need to try to find a model who has 75 to 95 percent of what you're looking for and the rest of it is down to you and the team to translate what she's giving you into what you're after here. A model really, she is a canvas for you. That's very much what you're looking for. The actual arrival of the girls should begin from, from 11. We should have a good hour or so to cast with them. Then we'll have some time together post-casting whilst we make your decisions. This is Emma Gretage. Emma is from Models One. Definitely some uh, really good times, you know, seeing a lot of beautiful girls. You know, that was definitely something you couldn't ignore. They bring in just like a stack of top European models. Model casting was crazy. You're seeing enough, you're, you're comfortable with how much the models are spending time with you and everything? Yes. Great, then we'll whiz through some more. You're figuring out like what you're looking for in a model, what the walk should look like, and just being in that kind of environment where they're coming in constantly, you're having them walk, you're trying to make them feel comfortable, trying to get a bit of their personality in. It was really exciting. It was really hands-on. We got to watch the models walk, touch their hair, talk to them, get to know them. And it was nice to see how the TG team scoped out what was really going to work for us. And then watching Alex, I mean at some point he just took like 20 different stacks and just flipped through. Good, 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 no, no, good. And he just knew exactly what you're looking for. And getting to pick his brain about like how his eye worked and how to do that, I learned so much from him and from that. It was very interesting, the casting day. The students would pick one girl and we were helping to guide them and pick out the flaws that maybe they hadn't seen so they can get the look that they really wanted to achieve. So here what we're trying to do is, is going back to it being a little bit more, I suppose, fashion based. So tomorrow we need to treat it a little bit like the editorial day, where obviously we're just styling. So let's get you all to present and I think as we're going through it as a team, let's look at the girls on the board and start to think, where we feel it can fit in with what you're trying to achieve. Makeup and styling will bring the whole thing together and make it look as one. 
for my editorial look. I want it to be wet towards the base, dry towards the end, and for my commercial look, just keep it a little bit more dry and tousled. So um, I really wanted to work with the castaway kind of look. Editorial-wise, more braid, very fuzzy, very um, drawn out. I love this picture, it almost seems like She's a little schizophrenic, a little dark. The texture on the bottom I like, but I'm still deciding if I want to do it a little bit more straighter or kind of something in frizzy like this. All right, so for my inspiration, um, for kind of both the more editorial and the more classic look, I've been kind of going towards the very deep side parts. First one I was thinking just to have just kind of down and natural, kind of wavy. I like the fair skinned girls with the really um, strong features and strong eyebrows. This is the look which I want to work tomorrow in my session style. I chose this because I wanted to keep it simple, original, and modern. I thought for the hair that it would be kind of cool to go with something a little bit more rolled, not quite dreaded, but a little bit more rolled like that, and then just pull it apart. I like this girl. And then, um, I don't know, I like these two. A glamour look is kind of what I feel. Um, I like the more tousled. Um, you know, obviously not so clean texture. Let's have a little five minute break, and then Annette can go off and confirm the models, and then go back into what everybody wants to do, and let's make a decision with them as a team, yeah? Everything from the team that's here to the education that we've had has just been wow. So, very excited about the editorial shoot coming up. That will definitely showcase all the talent. Uh, everybody has a different style, a different vibe. I think their experience in London is changing their taste a little bit, which is changing the flavour. The pressure was really on, on the shoot day. We had 18 looks to shoot, so nine hairdressers, nine models, two looks each model. And not only did we have to photograph everything, we had to film everything as well. So it was a long day and we had a lot to get through. This is the first time we're working with the American students, which is very exciting. We're doing two looks for them. We're doing a very commercial, cool, bedhead style vibe. And we're also going to allow them to play a little bit and experience an editorial look, which is where I'll be overstyling everything and making it very individually tailored to the type of hair they're doing. The photo shoot was a dream. I was really happy with the end result. Um, I was working with a lot of really erratic texture, which was fun because it was a little bit out of my comfort zone. The photo shoot in London was pretty crazy. We, it was like a lot of fast pace, but it was so cool to see that side of the industry that I've never seen before. I really tried to do a, quite an edgy modern look. I really wanted to push myself out of my element and I, I feel that I achieved that. I was really happy with the way it turned out. To be in that environment where they really let us do our thing and then they came in and really helped us turn it into something special was really cool because it was empowering and it was really educational. They didn't just take over. It was my first photo shoot at London. I loved it. I saw a complete photo session, how it was done, and it was an incredible experience. Super stoked to my model and was really excited to work in the photo shoot with her as well. So the photo shoot went amazing. The makeup was on point, the clothes were on point, and uh, with Nick's direction we got the image that we wanted, which made me feel absolutely amazing. It was amazing to see everything come to fruition and the whole experience itself has been life-changing and I can't wait to meet again in Orlando. So I'm super excited for Orlando. I can't wait to work on stage and be able to present in front of a lot of people and really show the TG creative team that I learned a lot and I'm going to do my best to use every one of those skills they all taught me. You've seen this huge jump of growth from, from day one on Sunday to the way that we finished out today. And the images that we captured today were, were pretty impressive. Thank you so much, guys, for um, being so passionate. This is just the beginning. So well done and good luck. This year we were blown away with, with the standard of the images that the team created. They had very clear visions and they absolutely nailed it. Next time on TG Inspirational Youth, 
and we fly the team to Florida for the TG Inspirational Youth Show at Premier Orlando. This is the finale, who will make it on the day and which students will be named as this year's winners of TG Inspirational Youth USA. Find out next time on TG Inspirational Youth. <laughs>